from the Seven Storm Team. Your first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Terry. All right, looking at our Skycam time-lapse view from this morning. Bright sunshine ahead and, of course, a few clouds working on in now. Not much really in the way of rain, though. In fact, if we take a look at our uh, Skycam location here, live from South Lake Charles, 96 degrees. It is really heating up here, and those clouds are just not building to the vertical height you need yet for showers. A lot of that's because of the upper-level ridge overhead. It's just really baking temperatures now. 92 at the airport, 102 is what it feels like, 105 at Oakdale, and uh, 102 there in De Quincey. Heat index really baking a lot of the southern states again. Look at that right now. It feels like 113 degrees in Memphis and uh, 107 in Little Rock. That's why there are still those excessive heat warnings warnings out for a lot of the deep south, all those uh, counties and parishes here that are in the uh, purple shadings from Arkansas through western Mississippi. That's because those heat index values still up to about 115 in spots there to our north. Not quite feeling that, that hot here in southwest Louisiana, but with the sun continuing, we're going to see those temperatures warm on up. Radar is showing the bulk of the rain staying off to our east as expected here over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and through portions of Florida. So the upper level ridge still in place. Not going to say we won't have one or two storms rule, uh, ruled out later this afternoon, but chances of rain really no higher than yesterday. Mid-90s, and then we drop off slowly through the 80s. Your weekend planner will hold a little bit of a higher rain chance on Saturday. We'll go up to 30% by the afternoon. That increases to about a 40% chance there on your Sunday afternoon with highs in the mid-90s. If you're traveling this weekend along any of the area beaches from Galveston, not a whole lot in the way of rain tomorrow. I think you may dodge a lot of the rain over toward the Galveston area. A couple storms here along Holly Beach, and then if you had eastward through the Mississippi and Florida beaches. That's where the rain chances really pick up. Places like uh, Pensacola, Destin, over toward Panama City, scattered thunderstorms, a good likelihood all the way down uh, toward Tampa tomorrow. So your temperatures in the 90s, but there will be those thunderstorms to contend with. And not only tomorrow, but a lot of uh, the next several days here along the eastern Gulf of Mexico. We still have tropical storm Earl pushing through now uh, back over the extreme southern Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be pushing back inland, though, and then uh, meet its fate over those mountainous uh, areas there into Mexico will be weakening there as it moves off back toward the south and west. A wet setup across the eastern Gulf, though, as we go into next week. An area of low pressure developing here over Alabama, Georgia, will be hanging out over the northeastern Gulf for several days. There will be a slight chance we could see some tropical development here with this. Not a worry about anything, though, for southwest Louisiana. This is going to hang out here. May uh, develop into some sort of weak tropical system next week, but eventually that's going to be pushing back northward there into uh, Georgia and Alabama. But this is going to dump a lot of rain. In fact, there will be areas here along the Florida coastline that will pick up several inches of rain over a multi-day period next week. We're going to be on the western side of all that moisture, so we're on the low end of those rain uh, accumulations next week. But our chances of at least scattered showers will increase a bit as we go into the next several days as we'll have that moisture off to our east. We can't rule out at least a chance of rain each day there with highs in the low to mid-90s and lows in the upper 70s. So get out there and enjoy this hot weekend. Not a whole lot of rain to deal with. All right. Thanks a lot to you.